thanks for joining me. Um, I do play a little bit of tennis, so I know a little bit about tennis. A few things I saw were grip, uh, your toss, and delivery through impact. So we'll touch on those three things. First, there's three types of grip. Uh, if you look down the line, continental is the farthest you turn it over. It'd be kind of like with a golf club, you said you played golf. Uh, with a strong right hand, it'd be weak. So it's continental here. And when you get neutral like this, it's called an eastern grip. And then when you turn it even farther right, it's called western. So normally for a serve, you want continental or eastern. You never really want western unless you're trying to hit a kicker or a slice. So for now, I'll stick with like a continental grip. Okay. And then the toss. Toss is probably the most important part. You want to try to get the toss really high because if your toss isn't high enough, it's going to be harder for you to get the arc over the net. So the higher the toss, the better and easier it is for you to get the ball over the net. Um, it's just like, like in golf, again, you want as, the most leverage you can. So having your arm like this is not going to produce power or the angle that you need. But if you have it up here like this, it's going to be a little easier for you. And then, yeah, the last is the delivery that you put to the ball. So there's three types of serves. There's a flat serve, a uh, slice serve, and a kicker. So most pros, they hit flat serves because they're taller and they have the fundamentals to do that. Um, for now, we'll probably just work with slice. So a good way to think of this is, instead of like flat serves, you're not producing too much top spin to get it over the net. But with a slice, you wanna try to produce that spin. So you wanna feel like you're gonna be brushing up the back of the ball and really producing that top spin. So a good way to think about it is like the, you know, the M in McDonald's. So you wanna use like, kind of think about the M and think that you're gonna draw the one side of the M. So you're gonna go, up steep and then come down steep and that's going to produce the spin for you. So with these three things we'll try to get you squared away for the first two. Fundamentals, getting the grip, the uh, arc, arc, the delivery impact, and uh, the toss. Toss is the most important for us. Sam, the first day, did a lot better on the toss. I saw that you could actually see it went out of the screen, which is incredible. Uh, the number one thing that we're going to touch on again today is delivery through impact. So I want you to not focus on how much power you're hitting, but instead just the technique. So we're going to really focus on the M of the arc. So. I want you feeling like, so when you're coming up, strong continental grip, feeling like we're going to be hitting up on the back of the ball and coming straight back down. So you're really going to exaggerate it, but just for today, we're going to focus on that and really try to arc it. Okay? Oh yeah. All right. So obviously um what you just watched was me you know learning how to serve in tennis um a little better so just to give some background information um growing up i actually did play tennis you know just kind of for fun here and there nothing ever too serious um it was just something i did when i wasn't playing golf and um the serve was the one thing that i was always terrible at like the forehand and backhand i was actually pretty good at but the serve was something that I never quite picked up on and all I ever did was just kinda, as you saw in the first video, was just kinda throw the ball up and just kinda tap it forward and it kinda, you know, would loop over the net and it would go in, but it was nothing, it was never anything special. So after watching me hit a few serves on my own, um, Drake then stepped in and tried to help me a little bit here and there. Um, so the first thing he told me was how to properly hold the club because uh, just like in golf, the way you hold the, the racket or the club can make a big difference on ball flight. Um, so first off, he told me how to hold it so I would get the proper spin on the ball instead of kind of just hitting it, you know, flat without any curve. And that's why when I served it originally, the ball just would go high and loop in and didn't have any speed or anything to it where if I was playing a half-decent player, they would just tear it up. 
So that was one thing he wanted me to work on was definitely get the grip the grip right so I could hit the ball with proper spin. Uh, the next thing he told me to do was my toss because um, the way I was doing it before was my toss wasn't very high. It was probably just above, just above my head and I was just, you know, kind of hitting it like that with my arm bent, wasn't getting any power on it. So if I got the toss higher, then I could really extend my arm up and really get some power on it so that um, the ball would have some, some speed to it. And then the last thing was just the form of putting the grip and the ball toss together was making sure I was hitting the ball with the proper angle and force so that it would put that top spin on it so it would go over the net and dip down and I could still hit it hard and it would stay in the box. So um, once I knew exactly how it should feel and how the ball flight should look, uh, that definitely helped a lot in the next session when I was trying to incorporate those things that he taught. So after Drake, uh, you know, gave me some tips on what to do and what changes to make, um, the next time when I tried to serve it, um, even though the results may not have been good, I definitely felt like I knew what I was doing and I felt like I was doing the motions right and I could feel how I was getting much closer to hitting that powerful serve that you know had some top spin and top spin and drop down and I could tell I was getting really close. So just like in golf or learning any new skill that you know we're not very good at at all, um, it takes time to see improvement. Improvement doesn't happen overnight. Um, as you could see in the second video, even though it looked like I knew what I was doing and it may have felt better, the results still weren't there. Um, but then when I did it for the third time, um, I got one of the two serves were in and they were good. They were, you know, fast, top spin in. They were a thousand times better than my lollipop, you know, original serve that I did the first time. So uh, overall, you know, Drake, I think he did a good job, you know, explaining stuff to me. He didn't overcomplicate things, but he gave me enough information and this gave me the skills that I needed to um, be able to perform a, a much improved serve than what I was doing earlier.